Jackson here at Song Mentor. Today's rock and selection is truly a classic. Carl Perkins wrote Blue Suede Shoes on December 17, 1955, and recorded it two days later at Sun Studios. The song uh, was originally uh, inspired by Johnny Cash. Now, in those days, Johnny Cash and uh, Carl Perkins and Elvis Presley uh, toured together uh, regularly in something called the Louisiana Hayride. And Johnny Cash suggested writing a song about some shoes because he remembered this uh, fellow in the military that had the that described military shoes as blue suede shoes. And Carl Perkins said, I don't know anything about shoes. I can't write that song. Uh, shortly after that, while he was doing a gig, playing a gig, he distinctly heard from the crowd this uh, young fella saying to his girlfriend, don't step on my suede's. And Carl Perkins thought to himself, you got to be kidding. You're, you're dancing and dating a beautiful young girl like that, and all you're concerned about is your shoes? <laughs> so he, he said, I've got it. I've got the idea for this, the shoe song, Blue Suede Shoes. Uh, it reached number two and stayed there for a couple of weeks, but it was on the charts forever. Here's a rock and roll classic, Carl Perkins and many others, Blue Suede Shoes. All righty then, Blue Suede Shoes in the key of A. And you know, you watch some of the older videos, including um, Carl Perkins on the Perry Como show. And it appears, uh, it sounds, when you try to tune with it, as if it's an A flat, but he's playing it in A. So keep everything simple here. It's a simple song. Uh, it, it's really the, the style that it's played in that makes it special. Um, so here are the chords you need. You need an open A chord. And really what we're going to do here is play uh, the A5 section of an open A chord. And that is strings 5 and 4. So this is for the, uh, okay, that's the open A chord. You also need an A chord in the bar A position, uh, and we're emphasizing the top three or four strings in this chord. So we're going to play around with it a bit using our pinky, but we need a bar A chord. And then you need uh, a D7 chord. And then finally, you need an E9 chord. Okay, and I'll show you where that one is because it's not as common as the other ones I just gave you. Uh, pointer finger is on the sixth fret of the fourth string. Second finger is on the seventh fret of the fifth string. And then your third finger bars the seventh fret of the first three strings. It's a jazz chord and used for rhythm and blues as well. So just to review, an open A, a bar A chord, a D7, and an E9. And those are the chords you need for blue suede shoes. I watched a nice little session between Paul McCartney and Carl Perkins, mutual respect there. And um, uh, one of the things Paul McCartney mentioned was he really liked the way the intro was just a uh, better Carl Perkins version than Elvis's version, which was well, it's a one for the money, two for the show, three to get ahead and now go, can't go, and don't you, and he liked that better than, well, it's a one for the money, two for the show. He liked the, the extending it uh, the way Carl Perkins did. So we'll give you the Carl Perkins version if you decide you want to play. Well, it's a one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready. You can do that one too. Okay, so all we're doing for that intro is, well, it's a one for the money, two for the show. Okay, so that's just a... And it's really one up and two downs on that A5 formation. And again, we're just emphasizing strings five, four, and three here. Well, it's a one for the money, two for the show. All three to get ready now, go, can't go, and don't you? Let me get into the D7 chord. That climb up to get us into the chording of the song is... And it's just open A. So we go A, B, C, C sharp. If you like, you can pick the D, which is the last note in the in the up progression of notes there, which is also part of the D7 chord. So it's OK. 
Okay, so just to go over that intro again. Well, it's a one for the money, two for the show, a three to get ready now. Go get going, don't you? Okay, so the first note you hit is that open A, and that's on go. One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready now. Go get going, don't you? Step on my blue suede shoes. All right, let's take a look at the right hand. Well, it's a one for the money, two for the show, a three to get a ready now, go get going, don't you? Step on my blue suede shoes. All right, well, in a 12 bar blues progression, as blue suede shoes is, um, the one chord, the A chord, is we, we call in a 12 bar blues progression the one chord. It's either played here or it's played here. The four chord is the D7, and the five chord in this song is the E9. So the pattern for the 12 bar blues is we start with one, and then we go to the four chord, the D7, and then we go back to the one chord, but this time up here, and then we go to the five chord. And then finally we finish with the one chord. So it's one, four, one, five, and then back to the one. And we play around with this bar A chord with a little bit of a, some of that 50s uh, riffing and stuff. So just to play through a verse for you, and, and of course you know that, uh, that everybody's familiar with the fact that the A, the one chord, is extended in Carl Perkins' song, like so. Well, you can knock me down, step on my face, dragging my name all over the place. Do anything you want to do, but uh -huh, honey, lay off of my shoes, and don't you step on my That's the progression. We start with the one, and then that's the extended one in this song. We go to four, the D7 chord. Go back to one up here. And then go to the D9, which is the five chord, and then finish back at the one. All right, let's take a look at the right hand for that. So again, the first little bit is just the the up, down, down on the A5. So it's, well, you can knock me down, step on my face, drag my name all over the place, do anything you want to do, but uh -huh, honey, lay off of my shoes, and don't you. So the D7. And I'm playing a, a down, down, down. For that one, when we get to the A chord, we're just really emphasizing the strumming is down on the first three strings here, and I'll show you what I'm doing with the pinky there in a moment. Just kind of a simple, first one's up, then you can basically just go back and forth. The E9 is exactly the same as the D7. That's the strumming for this section of the song. Well, let's take a look at that little riff I'm playing with the pinky finger. Well, that little old rock and roll style riff here is really just comes off of um, the bar that's on the fifth fret of the first and second strings. And then with my pinky, I'm going to be on and off the eighth fret of the second string. and 
forth like that. Except when I play it with the bar, it's just this way. Same thing, I just have the bar in there because it's... If I do want to play some of that chord occasionally, I've got the chord in position, so that's why I don't want to just do this. I could just do that, but I prefer to have the bar in position. Like so. Okay, on to the guitar solo. And of course, in these days, some of the guitar solos were pretty crude, so it does have that sound, that really raw sound, and, and isn't terribly complex. Um, but it's a little bit tricky to play because of the quickness of it. Um, and it's sort of based around, except for the intro to it, about around the stuff we've already learned. So that, that's a good thing. So we're going to start out with a Chuck Berry style riff, kind of like this. Okay, and all I'm doing there is sliding up from the fourth fret of the second and first strings with my forefinger sliding up to the fifth fret and then back down, back up, back down. It's really a timing thing with the picking. So the next little piece is a... So all I'm doing there is my first finger is on the fifth fret of the third and second strings, barring them. Pick down on three and two. And then I'm taking my third finger and on, onto the fourth uh, string, seventh fret. So it's just seven of the fourth fret, down on that, and then up on two and three at the fifth fret. And it just finishes up by putting my second finger on the sixth fret of the third string. And then it goes to that, back to that. And I'm in position for that right now. I just don't have the full bar on it like I had earlier. And you don't need the full bar because we're not going using the sixth string at all. So the final piece just has me sliding up once from four to five on the first and second strings. And that's straight out of George Harrison's rendition of uh, Roll Over Beethoven, but... Where do you think he got it? So this is, um, and we're just basically following that down a little pattern here. We go up to five, and then we're on the, the seventh fret of three and two, the fifth fret of three and two, and then the seventh fret of four. And from there, it's just more of what we played earlier. Ends the same way. That little riff there. So let's put the whole solo together in slow motion right from the start. Okay, all that's left to show you is the ending of the song, and it basically goes through the 12-bar progression once, and uh, has this little riff plan. See how easy that is to play? It's much easier than... It's essentially like a, a takeoff on the bass line, but it's much easier to play here with my open fifth string and my first finger on the second fret of the fourth string. I'm just going to pick through the, the five and four string like that. So all I'm doing there is kind of um, just gently picking back and forth, up and down on the five and four strings in this position. And then I'm going to move my third finger on and off at the fourth fret of the fifth and then the fourth string.
moves up to the, to the D note. Back to the A. And then down to the E. And that's the ending of the song. I'm going to just play this little riff. A nice little chord to finish. So we're going from... Eight five eight five eight five seven five seven five seven And this little chord's just like a D7, but it's played up here, and it's played with my first finger on the third string, second finger on the fourth string, and third finger on the second string. So it's a D7 formation. My second and third fingers end up on the seventh fret, and my first finger's on the sixth fret. Just a little finishing chord there, so. All right, let's play through and sing through that ending. One, two, three. Well, it's a blue, a blue, blue suede shoes. A blue, blue, blue suede shoes. A blue, blue, blue suede shoes. A blue, blue, blue suede shoes. Well, you can do anything but lay off of my blue suede shoes. Right, fine tuning for blue suede shoes. Well, that Perry Como show that I, I mentioned that I watched on YouTube, um, Perry said, uh, so, uh, so Carl, is your trio ready? Well, I can get them ready. And he goes backstage, and his trio consisted of a string bass player, stand up bass player, uh, a, a second guitar player playing acoustic, and a drummer. Um, so if I've given you all the pieces here, I hope you can put it all together. Have some fun with it. Get together with your buddies and have somebody just play a backup. And uh, you can practice that lead solo in it and have a lot of fun bringing back some old rock and roll. There you go, Carl Perkins. Don't you step on my blue suede shoes. We'll see you next time on Song Mentor.